you are on the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on TradingView and in today's video, we will be breaking down a pair both from a technical and an order flow perspective to understand where are the best probabilities for a trading opportunity on the pair to obviously be capitalizing on it. So the video will be both very educational and practical. So without further ado, let's get straight in it. Okay, so let's make a full breakdown of the situation that we currently have on GBP USD. Now, as usual, I will keep the analysis as educational as possible. So I will be first covering the situation that we have from a technical perspective. We will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective with the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market, specifically on the pound. And remember that if you check the COT data for the pound, you are actually checking already GBP USD because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. And obviously, if you're able to follow what the biggest banks and institutions are doing in the market, you do have an advantage over your competition because you can trade alongside hedge funds. And by the end of the video, you will know what kind of opportunity we can be looking for now on GBP USD, since the market just followed exactly what we wanted to see from our previous analysis. So without further ado, let's get straight into this breakdown. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what do we see? Now, on the monthly, we can see that the market has just provided this W formation. Now, generally speaking, after a W formation, what you expect is for the market to create a move to the downside to go and complete the pattern at the neckline, which is the previous resistance, now turn support. And then what you expect is from this previous resistance, turn support, to see the market create a move to the upside specifically for the creation of a higher high. So basically to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. And as we can see here, this is exactly what the market has been doing. In fact, the market after printing this W formation went all the way down and completed the pattern at the neckline, which is the previous resistance. Now turn support and currently is providing the continuation to the upside for the completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside, which is exactly what you expect in this kind of situations. So currently the market has just printed a higher high. So basically completed this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside by creating this higher high. Now, generally speaking, if you have an impulse in the market and you want to measure the correction, so if you have an impulse, and you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we take our Fibonacci from the low to the high of this impulse, what we can see is that the market has retraced all the way down to the 50% of the Fibonacci taken on this impulse. Now, why has the market retraced exactly to the 50% before starting this continuation to the upside? The reason for which the market retraced exactly to the 50% is because the 50% retracement was the Fibonacci level al aligning the best with the previous resistance now turn support, which is the neckline of the W formation itself. So we had a confluence of support at this area, which the market tested before starting this move to the upside, which was exactly the level that we expected the market to retrace to before starting this continuation to the upside. So on the monthly, everything is very clear. Let's go down on the weekly and see what we have from a weekly perspective. Now on the weekly, first of all, we had a market which had created a quite strong impulse to the downside. Now after an impulse, what you expect is for the market to create a retracement before the continuation to the downside. Now after the retracement, the market has printed a high. Now a high in the market is a resistance zone. And after creating a high, if the market breaks above that high, the previous resistance at that point is turn support. And that is exactly the level that the market tested here, the previous resistance, now turn support. And obviously the market rejected the zone to the upside, which is exactly what you expect in this kind of situations. So the market has just rejected previous resistance, turn support with a nice move to the upside. Now, if we go down on the daily time frame, what we can see. 
Now on the daily, we can see very interesting price action. Now we have spoken about GBPUSD quite a few times in the past. I spoke about GBPUSD after this W formation. I made a full breakdown when the market was here, explaining all the reasons for which from here we wanted to see this move to the upside, and that is exactly what the market did. Then I made another breakdown of GBPUSD when the market was here, explaining all the reasons for which from here first we wanted to see a retracement, and then the continuation to the upside, and that is in fact exactly what the market did. Then after the creation of this overextended W formation, I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which from here first we wanted to see a retracement and then the continuation to the, to the upside for the creation of a higher high and again that is exactly what the market did. Then we spoke about GBPUSD when the market was here and I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we wanted to see this move to the downside and that is in fact exactly what the market did. Then I spoke about GBPUSD after this move to the upside and I explained all the reasons for which we wanted to see the market create a higher high and again that is exactly what the market did and with the very last analysis I spoke about GBPUSD after this W formation and I explained all the reasons for which we wanted to see from here the market create a move to the downside to complete the pattern at the, the neckline of this W formation because when you have an impulse correction lower low and higher high you expect the market to go and complete the pattern at the neckline or at least at the 0.32 of the Fibonacci taken on the impulse and again that is exactly what the market did and I will link in description all this previous analysis so you find all this previous analysis linked in description so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. Just a quick reminder, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to cover or analyze in the next videos. But at the moment, what do we have and how we can be looking for the next opportunity on the pair? Now, if we go and see what we have from a COT perspective, so commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market, what we can see is that with the last report, hedge funds have increased quite massively their net positions. In fact, we went from having minus 19.7k net positions all the way up to having 4k net positions. So currently we're seeing a strong increase of the net positioning on the pound, specifically pound USD, because as I said at the beginning, all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. So if you're checking the data for the GBP, you are actually already checking GBP USD. And what we can see is that at the moment, with the last reports that we have available, we have 35.1k longs from an institutional perspective and 31k shorts. So more longs than shorts with an increased long exposure from 24% to 24.7% and short exposure, however, increased as well. In fact, the market just created this move to the downside. Now, can we expect more continuation to the upside? Yes, but when you see a candle like this with a very long wick and a, red, and a red body, what you expect is the next candle to actually fill in this wick. So at the moment, looking for a longing opportunity is very, very risky. We have to wait for a proper deceleration before we are to be looking for any kind of longing opportunities on the pound. So the way in which we will be approaching this with students is as usual being reactive and not predictive. Now the monthly, weekly and daily timeframes combined with the COT data are the best timeframes when it comes to the direction of the market. And from a directional aspect, we do have the possibility to create a continuation to the upside. But if we go down on the four hours, we can see that on the four hours, all the structure is still bearish, the momentum is still bearish, and the market can easily create a quite strong continuation to the downside and even break all the structure to the downside and create a lower low. So at the moment, there is absolutely no sign for any kind of confirmations for a longing opportunity. And if everything will remain like this on the four hours, the market will easily continue to the downside. And in that case, we will simply wait for the break of structure. And if we will see a confirmed break of structure, we will basically, as traders, adapt ourselves to the new market structure, to the ever-changing market structure. But until the market will remain from a daily closing perspective above this zone, there is still the possibility to see the market create a move to the upside and basically complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. And that is exactly what we will be waiting for with students until the market will remain above this support. So what we will be doing with students until the market will remain above is waiting for the market from a four hour perspective to shift from a four hour bearish market as we have right now to a four hour bullish market. And if, and only if the market will shift 
from a four hour bearish to a four hour bullish market. At that point, we will be adding GBP USD to our watch list. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice long with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities at that point for the move to the upside and the completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside and the creation of a higher high. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis, education and updates for all of you. You can also go and check out the mentorship program. you find the link in the description. It's a very complete program. You first learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies and then you trade them live with me. Every single day you get a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply the strategies with entries, stops, take profits, as well as having me answering all your questions every single day. So I really suggest that you go and check it out and I will see you in. The link is in the description.